Hey everybody, Curseus here, and welcome back to Empires and Allies. So, now, as you see from the title of the video, I'm going to talk about some attacking tips today. So, there's no huge secret to it, but really quick though, first, if you're new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, hit that like button, smash that like button, and join me for my live stream shortly after this video at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, anyways... What we're going to do is I'm just going to really quickly, I'm just going to discuss, and this is going to be really short because there is no real huge secret to attacking like the video title suggests, but what there is is two specific strategies that you need to employ, either a ground strategy or an air strategy. You should not mix the two. If you mix the two, then you run the chance of actually... Uh, losing the battle because you can't handle uh, the the opponent's uh, mixed defense. Because, you know, every defense is mixed, right? I mean, everybody has, everybody has Patriots, everybody has Metal Reigns, everybody has Rail Guns, everybody has Dome Aerial Defenses, or just domes that have random uh, setup of defenses in them. So you have to be prepared for one defense or the other. You can't, you know, you can't just, you know, roll in and just expect, uh, expect to just, okay. So you just can't expect to uh, roll the entire enemy base. I mean, you can if you, if you know what you're doing with a Viper. I mean, Vipers can almost solo enemy bases by themselves. But anyways... So, really quick, so we're just going to talk about ground strategy versus air strategy. In a ground strategy, and I'm just going to demonstrate a ground strategy because that's what I mainly like to use. So, you, we come to this base here, we see his HQ is surrounded by trees. Um, can my guys even get in? Yeah, they, they could get in. But, uh... But as you can see, though, he's very rushed. Easy, uh, this is this is easy prey. So, f to make a ground strategy work, and work properly, my nose is so itchy. All you gotta do, first of all, is take down the heavy ground buildings. Commencing attack run. Clearing the way. So... This includes all ground defenses that would target your troops. And, uh... I, th I think we're actually good because this guy is so rushed. Find your mark. Anybody home? Keep moving. Where's that coming from? Oh, I see it. So much for the welcoming party. Anyways, though. But again, like I said, there you go. There, basic ground strategy. Take down basically anything that could really hamper your ground troops. If you're using tanks, and specifically tanks, which I don't use tanks anymore because they're too slow. But if you are specifically using tanks, you would want to take out Thel lasers more than any other defense. Well, Thel lasers and railguns more than any other defense. Because the tanks can handle the like the barrage from a metal rain or you know the uh, the attacks from 
Guard towers. If you're using strikers, which I use a lot, then you want to take down the metal reins and rail guns. Metal reins and rail guns can really kind of devastate strikers. So, I mean, that's that, really. Now, if you're using an air strategy, an air strategy is fairly simple. Like, very fairly simple. Really, what you're going to do is you need to disable the Patriots. The Patriots are the primary air defense, obviously. And then, after you disable the Patriots, you need to identify any domes that have aerial defenses and then take them out. And as well, identify any ground troops that may be t able to target air units, like a like strikers. Strikers are devastating to air aerial attacks, therefore strikers need to be taken care of. So you know, I'm not really going to demonstrate an aerial attack because I don't use aerial strategies. But as far as it goes, though, that is the primary aerial strategy: take down all ground troops okay. that can target and disable your air troops. Destroy all the, the Patriots. Destroy all dome aerial defenses. And then the rest of the enemy base will fall easily. And also, you know, if if the uh, Omega is a Gator or a Viper, you need to take that out too. So, there you go. There you have it, folks. Those are the primary... In fact, uh... Nice base. The primary, you know tactics that you should be using in the game you should never mix the two like i said as mixing the two will just result in a higher chance of failure at least in my opinion like you can possibly you could probably mix the two a little bit like a little bit and then what i mean by that is like you could use a gator or a viper or a vulcan or a colossus as kind of your uh your starter to take down defenses. I have never, uh... Like, how do you even get these? Quantum course from Alliance Missions, Elite Cash... Oh, okay. I never even learned how you get those, so... <clears throat> so, anyways. But those are my opinions on, basically, just the main secrets that nobody really talks about. And, well, you know, secrets. But as far as it goes, that is how you should either handle attacking other players. Either by all ground or all air. And if you do an all air strategy, an all air strategy is pretty decent, but you should be using a Falcon or a Falcon Mark II. Really? I, like, I hate that. Like, oh, Mark II Falcon. It's better than regular Falcon because we buffed it based, uh, you know, compared to the other Falcon. Oh, anyways. But, you know, these buff could have been applied to the other Falcon, but we decided to monetize it and make you pay for those balance changes. Anyway. So, basically, though, those are your two ideas on how to proceed when attacking. Don't go ground and air. Always go all ground or all air. Because like I said, if you go all air, or I mean, if you go half ground, half air, or three quarters ground or a quarter air, you just increase the likelihood that you can't handle all of the defenses that exist in the base. So, anyways though, uh, that is really all the time I have for right now. So like I said, if you're new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, smash that like button if you agree with me on everything I said, or even hit that dislike button if you don't agree. Anyways, also catch me at my live stream, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time after this video. This video will drop at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you are seeing this video at... It's likely around 6 p.m. Eastern Standard. So, why are you waiting? Come to my channel. Wait for my live stream. Thank you very much, you guys. And, as always, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Without you guys, this channel cannot exist. And, 
really, you know, and I, to be honest, you know, I wouldn't be able to make videos. Well, I'd still be able to make videos, but I wouldn't be able to make videos that people see. And I wouldn't be able to talk to you guys. So, anyways, though, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.